wrong They're trying to play your hate But they can't fade us though We've been mobbing through the neighborhood Yeah, with that funk sound We've been throwing down well, You know, I think it's like, it's like time on a simple fact that one thing we stand for, we just don't stand for like the West Coast. We stand for the ghetto, which is the inner cities. You know, you get so many people that get in this game and the very first chance they get, first hit they get, first number one video, they shake everybody. And it'd be all about them. They lose the slang, they lose the language. Like the stuff we talk about, or the stuff if it's Crooked Eye or Eastwood talking about on their album, that's like so damn hood. You know, and everything you talk about is reality stuff. Like when Crooked Eye said he parked a five and pedaled the bike, right? He really do got a five and he really will jump on the bike and pedal. So people can relate to it because I'm here in the hotel, I'm under my name. It's not like I'm up under some alias like everybody else be and all this type of stuff. They can call my room and shit, come up here and kicking and shit. You know, I ain't afraid of my own people. So it's always appreciative that they do give us love because we give love back. first thing I do is basically it's the man or it's the woman. It's the attitude. I don't care how hot somebody is. If they can't get along with everybody, we ain't fucking with them. And for us, my whole thing is when I was in the pen doing five years, I sit back and I watch the game. I watch the game. I watch, I watch how people's doing stuff that I did in 92. They still doing in 2002. And the two hottest youngsters for us on the West Coast in the streets was Crooked Eye and Eastwood. So how you, and one of the things was that Crooked Eye came to visit me when I was in the pen. He was like, well, look, I'm working on this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I said, this is all you got to do is kick back, rush your neck. And that's exactly what he did. And for us, Eastwood, Eastwood was running around. A lot of people was trying to get at him. A lot of people was trying to sign both of them. But how could you be on the West Coast and don't be on the road? Because it's, we the only West Coast label, period. Because when you look at it, it's other people say they have labels out there, but they don't have labels. It's Interscope label, or it's Universal label, or it's Priority label, or they from somewhere else. You know, I was, I'm from Compton. I ain't one of those people who like lived there for like a month, or went through there. I grew up there, I was raised there, period, point blank. Well, it's nobody in the game to get your game from on a simple fact that all the old heads in this game, they ain't fucking with young motherfuckers like us. And everybody else, they work for the majors. So if somebody go to do a deal somewhere, they got to go get at the majors. And what, what happens is you got the house niggas. So if you go to a major, if you go to Sony, if it's Universal, Universal owns Interscope, Universal owns... Polygram, Universal owns AM, Universal owns Def Jam, all that stuff. So Def Jam owns Rockefeller. So Universal owns Rockefeller. Universal owns everybody. So if you get a guy that works for Universal and he's black, and Universal say, okay, I'm gonna give them a dollar, hypothetically speaking, they whole thing gonna be is this. They only gonna give you a quarter, but I can get you 30 cents. So when they go to their boss, they can say, look, boss, you was going to give him a dollar. I got this nigga for 30 cents. So that keeps them a job a little longer. So there's nobody in this business you can really deal with or fuck with to try to get no game from. Because I tell everybody all the time, own your masters, own your catalog. Can none of these niggas say they own their masters in their catalog? If they do, they lying to you. Are they going to say they own some of it? Are they going to buy it back? All that is bullshit. Not knocking Russell or nothing, but they had an interview on Russell on Def Jam. And they was like, well, on the whole Jeff Damn shit, on Russell shit, and Jeff Damn shit, they showed mostly Run DMC. Run DMC was on profile, which is Aster only masters now. Rick Rubin and Russell was partners. Now, Leo Korn and Russell's is partners. But Universal owns Jeff Jam. So my whole thing is, 
I don't care how hard it may, might be, what kind of shit I gotta go through, I'ma keep this shit gangster, I'ma keep this shit ghetto, I'ma keep this shit independent. So that way, when my artists wanna say, fuck this person, fuck this, fuck that, suck my dick, they can say it. It's not censored. So that's that's what we gotta be able to do. Roll up in the club. Yeah, right. One of the things I did was this. I started reading contracts. When I started reading contracts, I was seeing contracts. When Dre had a contract with Ruthless, he was making one point as a producer. But that one point was cross-collateralized every person on that label. So if JJ Fat was in a hole, or Easy was in a hole, or NWA was in a hole from touring, they'd take his money. And one point was like back in Chuck Berry days. You know what I mean? Two points is back in Chuck Berry days. So I'm saying, how the fuck is, you know, this the early 90s, 89, 90, and they getting the same points as Chuck Berry? Something wrong with that motherfucking problem. So I got him out of his shit. And then the thing about it is this, that because you free a slave, don't mean he's not going to run back to master and get his ass up and say, I want to be a slave again. Half of these motherfuckers just do that. They talk all that shit. I don't knock Prince. Prince will write slave on his face. I ain't fucking with him. But who Prince back fucking with? So, you know, if you're going to say something, mean what you say, say what you mean. Or don't say shit at all. So my whole thing was, I don't fit in the circle of a lot of industry shit. I say half of these motherfuckers is gay crazy. You know what I mean? So it's like their whole thing is, their way of living, their way of thinking is about them. My thing is about the ghetto. I don't give a fuck how much shit I go through the ghetto, I'm still going to fuck with the ghetto. And one thing about my artists, they got to keep that shit straight. Or I ain't fucking with them. <clears throat> oh shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. <laughs> you done put two of America's most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. <laughs> See, 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 first of all, you got to realize one thing. It's the difference between being a street punk, being a thug, and being a gangster. A thug will do anything for money. A thug will go out there and sit on a block from 2 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the morning in the rain selling $5, $10, $20 rocks. Or snatch a purse from an old lady and take the money out. Or take a radio out the car. That's a thug, because he's on the streets. A gangster's a motherfucker who's smart about his shit. A gangster go to that motherfucker on the streets and say, you know what? You, you, you hustling from what? Six, from 2 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the morning, and you making like, what? Two or $3,000 a day? But well, check this out. Either you're going to give me half, or you're going to keep 40, and I take 60. A gangster going to see a motherfucker snatch the old lady purse and go get the nigga and say, you know what? I'm going to get this old lady her purse back, nigga. Because, you know, if you want some, go take it from a nigga. Don't take it from an old lady. Don't pick up on no kids. That's a big difference. Every motherfucker hollering about the uh, gangster, definitely not no gangster. A gangster is the last person who's trying to convince everybody that they tough. A motherfucker who's really tough, he don't got a mad dog everybody. He can be polite. He can walk in. He can love the kids. He can hold the kids. He can be, you know, he can do favors. You know, like y'all stuff. Y'all stuff is black. You know, you pushing that line. You don't got to go through no million people to say you want to do something. You say you want to do it, let's do it. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want to do. Yeah. Clear enough for you. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's a difference. You do got to be educated, though. You just can't go into a record company and say, check this out. This is what the fuck I want. I'm a gangster. I want mine. I'm a street nigga. And you're going to give me mine. They'll turn around and say, okay, we scared of you, so we're going to give you what you want. What you want. They don't know what they want. They're going to say, well, you know, we'll give you a dollar. But do you want that dollar? Yeah, give me that motherfucking dollar. you probably supposed to get $20. But they so motherfucking stupid being idiots, they're getting fucked. So they don't even know it. So they leave, they leave, they leave the meeting feeling good and some motherfucking calling everybody. Yeah, this is what I just done. And whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. all along, they got pumped. Didn't even know it. But you know, one thing you got to learn, though, is this. What I learned. I learned that you can make more money with a conversation and a pencil than you can with the gun and the knife. That's a really important lesson. People who came to holler at me, I know. The people
people who didn't come and holler at me, I know. You know what I mean? One thing about Suge Knight, it might be a lot of motherfuckers hate me, but I bet there's more motherfuckers that love me than hate me. So if motherfuckers ain't like disliking you, you're doing something wrong. If you take a bum on the street who's sleeping in a basket and living on the street, people don't have shit to say bad about them because they don't pose a threat. I'm going to break this down to you about industry niggas. You got two types of niggas in this industry. You got niggas that everybody like and love. Then you got the niggas who they don't like but they respect. So if you got a nigga who they like but they don't have to respect, it works real simple. A nigga that everybody like, he can see somebody at a restaurant. They gonna sing, what's up? They gonna give mad love. What's up, homie? I miss you. I love you. What you doing? Wanna go to dinner? Wanna go to party? Wanna have some drinks? Come by the house, come by the house for a barbecue. They gonna say, yeah, okay, I'm there. Then they gonna ask him to do some business with him. Hey, you think you do the song with me? Think you be in this video? You know what they gonna tell him? They like him, but they don't got respect for him. So they gonna tell him, you know what? I don't got time to be doing no songs right now. I'm doing my shit. Or if it's on a business level, I don't got time to take no meeting with you on business, but we can go play golf. Or we can go to a basketball game, right? Now, the nigga they don't like, but they respect, they might see a nigga they don't like and be like, shh, there go that nigga. And that same nigga can go to him and say, check this out. I don't need you on this song. The motherfucker going to say, uh, what time you want to go right now? Right? And he going to spit that shit and give you his A1. Or, or on a business level. He can be seeing him somewhere. You be like, you know what? I heard you doing this movie. What's happening with the soundtrack? Nigga be like, you know what? Nigga, you got the soundtrack, but they don't like you, but they respect you. So which one you want in this business? California, yeah. Crooked Live be the first out the cage. I got monsters. I don't got no artists. All my, all my people is monsters. They got to be controlled. Not by society, by themselves. So they're in the cage. So when I unlock that cage, Crooked Eye coming out smashing motherfuckers. Period. So you got Crooked Eye, you got Eastwood, you got Corrupt who came back home. He, corrupt, look, corrupt is something that most people won't do. He said, you know what? I'm going to admit my wrong. It's nothing like home. So all you other niggas who didn't, went the other way, y'all can eat the dick. I'm going to go back home where I know it's good. So corrupt shit gonna come out hotter than ever. Don't get me wrong, because a lot of motherfuckers wish they can come home too. But the door is definitely closed on a lot of those niggas. Because it's really not about old niggas no more. It's about the youth. You know, I like Face. Scarface my nigga. That's the only pioneer nigga in this game who still can fuck with. You know. But like a lot of these other motherfuckers, they didn't have their turn. They should get the fuck out the game. But they will. What up, it's your boy Young Eastwood representing the row. It ain't nothing but love, man. Everywhere we go, it's just all respect, it's love, and we giving it right back, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Basically. As always, you know what I'm saying? All like the ghetto always respect the ghetto cats, you know what I'm saying? The way I look at it is like this. A lot of people be trying to hate and all that shit, especially out on the West. But my thing is this. How you going to hate on a label that kept you eating? You know what I'm saying? When the row was doing their thing, everybody was eating. You know what I'm saying? When Suge was putting the smash down, everybody in the whole coast from the Southern Cali to the Northern Cali was eating like a motherfucker. So it ain't no way you can hate on the row. And it's the perfect place for a nigga to be that want to speak his mind and want to spill real ghetto shit and not get censored by some... You know, phony ass A and R crossing his arms and listening to your music like he from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? How can you be from the West and not be down with the road? You know what I'm saying? They've been doing this shit for years and it's serious. You know what I mean? I grew up serious. You know what I mean? I'm a hood rat. You know what I mean? I does what I do. You know what I mean? And the road is perfect. I love it. You know what I mean? I got a cold label mate. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't ask for nobody better. I got a cold CEO. Couldn't ask for nobody better. You know what I'm saying? I got a cold family. You know what I mean? I couldn't ask for nothing better. So niggas who hating, it's like, you know, one of those. It ain't no pressure because if you come in the game to sit on the bench, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody come in this game to be the best. Everybody come in this game to be number one. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I ain't going to never downplay my own skills and ability to do what I got to do. You know what I mean? So when the, when the spotlight is on, I'm on and cracking. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm loving the pressure. I'm loving that we got big shoes to fill. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to hit that three-pointer at the buzzer. You feel me?
And if he pass it to me, you know what I'm saying, I know I ain't going to do nothing but throw him in the lob and he going to dunk it, you know what I mean? So that's how that go, and that's at the buzzer, before the buzzer sound. Man, we family, you know what I'm saying? We we just straight family, you know what I'm saying? And and when you pop in on the West, you're going to run into each other all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm from Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? But when you pop in in that scene, in that rap scene on the West Coast, you're going to run into each other. Y'all gonna you gonna, And then you're going to find the real people and click up with the real and shake the fake niggas, you know what I'm saying? So basically, we just, that's how we did it, linked it up. I mean, you know, all the people that came on the label, you know what I'm saying? They got a place in history. You know what I'm saying? Suge know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. As we all saw on, on a BET, you know, 50 dopest MCs, Pac was number one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Suge's ear for talent is amazing. So he ain't finna go out there and pick up just no busters. You know, soon as you know he got bum rush. As soon as he touched the turf, everybody wanted a deal and still do. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. But, you know, we just chopped our way through every sucker and, and and got our position you know what i'm saying now and and we earned our positions you know what i'm saying it ain't like nothing that we just got handed yeah, we had to really? we had to weed whack a, a whole bunch of busters you know what i'm saying to get to this position and you know that's that's how it is i mean if you believe that that Pac was number one like i believe and that you know other people affiliated with the role or uh, got their place and they 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 mark in history then you know that the next generation is going to have a mark in history, and we're going to go out there and do the same damn thing. Even more. Even more. I agree. Back to Crooked. <laughs> and it's so gangster. <laughs> the the sound is so vicious and so major, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we coming back to back bangers. We ain't got time for no album fillers. All these niggas out here got all these album fillers on their albums, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't really feeling that because I ride with the consumer. The consumer don't want to pay their money for that bullshit y'all niggas doing. Y'all niggas walking up in there freestyling some weak ass shit on and trying to get a nigga to pay $16, $17 for that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We putting our heart and soul into the shit that we making. And the shit back to back bangers. Guaranteed If a nigga hate on it You know So what We just put weight on them hate. The album is called Say I to the bad guy Cause that's what the fuck I am in this game right now I'm finna be the bad guy Cause they don't wanna see A nigga make it I'm gonna be the bad guy To society Cause they don't wanna see A nigga from the gutter In the ghetto Have it They don't wanna see me Pull up next to him In that 5 SL coupe You know what I'm saying right. it, They die a thousand deaths Every time I do But I don't give a fuck You feel me Cause that's what That's that. That's how That's what kind of shit I'm on right. And I'm gonna be the bad guy To all these phony ass rappers Rappers, cause a lot of these niggas ain't got skills, and back in the day we would have called them sucker MCs, studio gangsters, and and studio gangsters, studio. and you know we'd have pointed a real big finger at them. Right. Now they try to say, oh you hating on them, nigga, fuck that. Right. I'm going old school. Suck MCs are suckers. You ain't got skills on the mic, put it down. That's on gangster life. Hold we just did a song with Too Short that's off the Richter, off the Richter, instant legend action. <laughs> Coming back at you so quick and fast from the road, so you know it's on some gangsta pimp shit. Believe oh, it's that. So swole. Jada Kiss, Ja Rule, you know, we got all them cats rolling with a boy, you know what I'm saying? They all on the album, you know what I mean? They gonna get their swing on, you know what I'm saying? We gonna do it death row style, you know what I mean? So they get they get to see what the death row world like, you know what I mean? Yeah, this crooked eye from the road fucking with Yellow Tape Video Magazine. How y'all niggas love that shit. And they got us before all you other suck ass. Media motherfuckers. Yo, this young Eastwood from the road chilling with Yellow Tape Video Magazine. Yeah, you know I'm saying, represent for all you suckers, and they got us first popping our whips. You mark ass hook. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> know what I'm saying? You got so many motherfucking informants in this game; it's impossible. So a lot of motherfuckers can get caught with traps, get caught with this, get caught with that. Get caught stabbing a motherfucker, get caught whatever. They never, ever go to the penitentiary because they're informants. Because they're more important to the police on the streets than off the streets. I'm the type of motherfucker, I straight spit out motherfucking names. Now I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna end mine. If you ain't down for the Africans here in the United States, period, point blank. If you ain't down for the ones that suffer in South Africa.